as soon as he talks, after 30 seconds, apparently he's losing his voice and he's old. So they said sorry two months in advance. And I kept looking for a, a superstar. I called Hollywood agents. And, and then I thought about him. I called my producers. They didn't know who he was. They said, Denis, it's been two months. We're looking for a legend. And you call with this guy, who is he? I say, look, people who know him, <laughs> yeah, of so course, it's a bit of an inside joke. They will laugh, they will say, oh my God, Bruce LeBruce as Prime Minister is a little subversive. And if you don't know him, he's just a normal Prime Minister and he does the job well. But Take he adds it something. as an inside joke. It's he Bruce adds LeBruce. something. I mean, he's got a masterful kind of technique, which is very The Prime edgy. Minister? The yes, Prime Minister. I thought it was he's, fantastic. He's stiff. He's a little stiff. We had to help him a bit. He was terrified because you never put one non-professional around too many professionals because it mm -hmm. can be catastrophic. But he, he came here. He's so happy to be on. And it's for as an actor. It's not for a film. So yeah, same thing with Denis Lavant. You know, I need to cast someone playing the conscience of someone in a sort of grotesque fairy tale. Denis Lavant was just obvious. You want to call him. The danger is to is that he becomes too much Denis Lavant. But I said, look, you won't move too much, you're just stuck in here. 30%. He, he, he's quite Denis Lavant in the film. Yeah. He does what he has to do. What can you do with this guy? You, you don't call him to play a lawyer. He, he can't do much. It's Denis Lavant, it's Denis Lavant. That's Was it. he difficult to handle then? No, he's, uh, he's seven years old. He's a kid. He's the greatest human being I've yeah. worked with. He's so nice. He came here, he has little personal problems now, so here in Berlin, if you saw him, he was a bit weird, but he came to Quebec and 10 days, a, a child, he's a child. He has his own world, he would go and walk for two hours in the woods, come out and show us what he found in the woods, like <laughs> mushrooms and... Uh, he's, he's a kid, he's a real kid and it's... Uh, you know. That location was beautiful, where was that location? One hour from Montreal, it's on the border of the uh, United States, like 15 minutes from the border. Uh, it's a place where bourgeois people, they go and they buy a house in that environment. And uh, the house is not too powerful, but the... The lake is the, 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 the Yeah, the lake, everything. But the house, I thought, but I love the land too much, so we did it there. I w w sorry. But when did you start mixing not professional actors with super professional actors? Because you used to do it with basically... Well, it's something you shouldn't do. Like, mm -hmm. it's too dangerous. And if a, if a non-professional is crushed by the professional, it looks very bad. Mm -hmm. And putting one professional in between all the... Like Bruno Dumont did it when he did Camille Claudel. Mm -hmm. and it works because it's Bruno Dumont, but still, it's quite a, the Juliette Binoche with all these people. It's, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, and if I go to another smaller film now, like I did Carcass a few years ago, I would take only non professionals. You should not mix those families together. So, here it's only, only actors with actors, basically. Do they resent, the professional actors resent the non professionals? Is that the idea? Or is it? Uh, most professionals, they won't say anything when you... At some point, a director will say, Oh, no, next film I would like to work with non-professionals. They look at you like, why? <laughs> but people know me. You, you just saw Boris without Beatrice, and it's not... Is it an actor's film? I don't know. They're all good. But it's a mise-en-scene kind of film. It's a film packed with mise-en-scene ideas. It's very aesthetical. It's very formal. The actors are doing what they have to do. It's no more than that. Sometimes you watch a film, there's nothing to see. It's shot like, but the actor is wonderful. The actor is taking the film with him. I think it's more of a visual film with ideas. Yeah, but some directors, they have no clue. Honestly, I've been on sets. I Some directors, they have no clue what they're shooting. No clue. It starts in the morning. I've seen that. It would be so... There with the director of photography. So, how do you see that? This yeah. scene is uh, Mary is going to the bathroom and brings back a cake in the kitchen. That's what it says. And the actors are there. Now it's time to shoot, we're here. A lot of directors are like, so, and they look at 
Is that one shot? Is that three shots? Is that seven shots? Is that handheld? Is that on tripod? You need to prepare those scenes months in advance. Everything you've seen in that film, I have a book. The shots are all in the book. I took the pictures and we went with director of photography on the set months in advance. So the day of shooting, okay, everybody ready? Okay, today we're gonna be tack, 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 tack. The actors are not free with me, which is a problem. <laughs> so you're controlling it's a problem. the actors a bit like Hitchcock. A bit, a bit. Like they are on their marks. They don't have much. Yeah, maybe not. They don't have much liberty in a film like that. Sometimes I give them liberty. A film like that is quite precise. They can, like Beatrice, at some point the actress said. Uh, you know, I could, uh, I could then uh, and go to the bathroom and go. I said, no, no, no. no you got your, your. She vision. comes from TV. She didn't know that she was. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, uh, no, you're gonna be in the in the bed. You're gonna be like this, and that's it. I'm sorry. They have to accept. You. What what struck me, and my question is, do you agree that the the topic is transformation, his transformation, and that I because it is the essence of cinema in a way. But you hardly ever see it as rigorously as you would take the subject now. Mm. I mean, don't you find that odd? I think I take things very literally. Like you said, it's a film about a transformation. Then it's going to be about a transformation. It yeah. won't be very subtle. It's not a very subtle film. It's it's all in your face. And even the last scene, Denis Lavant sits down. I'm conscious that he's explaining the film to the audience which we never do, we, you don't do that in cinema or it looks so ridiculous. But the last scene of that film is literally explaining to the audience the whole film. So, so it's kind of provocation. I, lo I love that. It's kind of, you say didactic I said in English, didactic yeah. when a film is explaining itself to the audience. I take it to the letter, you know, like, okay, the last scene is 10 pages yeah, of a it's character. It's like that comedy, when they are so polite, for me it's hilarious, it's like, I it's like, a comedy. I like doing that. So now I read, oh, existential, psychological thriller. It's, it's much more funny than that. It's, the guy is explaining the film in your face. It's a bit ridiculous, it's a bit B-movie, but I like playing with that, you know? Yeah, but maybe a lot of people have lost the art of looking a bit you know yeah, the, the, the art of, of seeing different filmic languages we're just sitting being handcuffed and waiting for the answer mm. this film okay it's not for everybody but it's completely open to interpretations you take what you want unfortunately i need to sit here doing interviews and telling you all about my secrets but I would dream of making those films. You just go home and you take what you want to take. What was that helicopter thing? And you have your idea, your idea, and nobody has I the same. I just love looking at it. I just love being lost in that whole If visual. you like being lost, it's fine. I make films for these people. People who don't like to be lost, they go, what the hell did I just watch? And I get these bad reviews, and he's not making clear choices, and the narrative is not. But that's the kind of cinephile I am, and those Keep are the films I like to watch. Keep Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Can I 